Welcome to the Peter McCallum Cancer Center. In January 2020, we asked over 100 Peter Mac patients how we could improve the patient experience for those coming into cancer imaging. With these videos, we hope to meet the need presented for better transparency around our procedures and show you what you can expect from your time here in cancer imaging. This video shows what it is like to have nuclear medicine imaging at Peter Mac. The Peter McCallum Cancer Center is conveniently accessible through public transport and there is paid parking on site. When you arrive at Peter Mac, our friendly receptionist staff will help you find where you need to go for your specific consult, scan or therapy. Hi, my name's Nick. I'm a nuclear medicine technologist here at Peter Mac. I'm going to show you today what's involved in a nuclear medicine bone scan. The nuclear medicine tests are used to help the doctor decide how best to treat you and to monitor the effects of that treatment. In nuclear medicine tests, we inject radioactive liquids, also known as traces. Our traces contain a small amount of radiation in them that will come out of your bodies over a short amount of time. They are all safe and they won't cause you any problems while they're in you. And even if this isn't the scan that you will be having, this will show you what it's like to come into our department and what our nuclear medicine camera looks like. Many nuclear medicine tests take a few hours. First, you will be injected with a tracer. After a few hours, you will be prepped for your scan, which will show us where the tracer has gone in your body. The technologist will go through some questions with you to make sure we know about anything that may be important for the scan. Do you have any pain anywhere? I just see my legs at the moment. For this scan, I'm just going to put a cannula in your arm and give you the injection of the radioactive tracer. The technologist will explain what the test is about, how long it will take, and any special things you need to do to help during the test. You will have a chance to ask questions you may have before we go ahead with the test. Okay, so this is the injection here. And that's it there. Wasn't so bad. In many nuclear medicine tests, there is a gap between the injection and the scan. Your technologist will tell you when you need to come back to the department. Just give you this here, so that's just what time we want you to come back this afternoon? Yep. And you can do what you like in between. Okay, thank you. The scan time varies from patient to patient. During the scan time, you just need to lie flat and breathe normally. The technologist will make sure you are supported to be as comfortable as possible. Just need to lie flat, breathe normally and keep really still for that time. And once we've finished with this scan, we'll just check all of what the pictures with our doctor, make sure we've got it all before we let you go. We may need to take some more after that. The camera does come in close for the scan, but it is especially designed not to touch you. You will be safe during the scan and your technologist will be watching from the room next door. Okay, we're finished with that scan now. So our doctors are just having a look at it. We'll make sure we've got everything we need before we let you go. And once we're finished, our doctors will write the report and send everything to your referring doctor. The nuclear medicine technologist working with you will make sure you are supported and safe getting on and off the scanner. We hope that this video was helpful in demonstrating what you can expect to experience when coming to the Peter Mac for nuclear imaging. We asked our current patients what they would like to tell new patients coming into cancer imaging, and this is what they had to say. The hardest part of the procedure was the wait time between the injection and the scan. I kept myself entertained though by visiting the patient wellbeing centre. It was a really nice day outside too, so I also sat in the garden and read my book. There are many types of nuclear medicine scans and procedures, so be sure to read the patient information sheet we have given you. Please take note of any preparation instructions given. Please call us on the number provided if you have any questions. For more information, visit the provided links.